this is Stacy from Truly Majestic. Today we're making this vintage bird. The first thing I'm going to be doing is drawing my bird onto my stone and I have to say I put three coats of paint on this stone because it was so porous and so rough to try to kind of smooth it out a little bit but you'll see as I'm going around with my bird design I actually have to put like a death grip on my paint pen because the bumps were so bumpy they were making my pen go all over the place so I had to have a really strong hand to kind of keep my design the way I wanted it to be. This is a 0.7 millimeter paint pen, so it has a very fine tip, and it is a color flow paint pen. What brand you use probably doesn't matter, just that you need a fine tip kind of for detail. And I'm just going to be putting my branch on, and then we'll get to painting in just a second. For the dotting, I've just used a bamboo skewer. You don't need anything super special for dotting. You can use a bamboo skewer. You can use dotting tools if you want to buy them. You can use um, a wire, like an unwound paper clip, or a pencil works really great. I've seen people use cotton buds or Q-tips also for their dotting. You can use just about anything. I'm just dotting the breast and I've dotted the eye. And we're just going in with white for the breast and a little bit around the eye will do white as well. Now I've switched to pink and I'm going to go in with like pink and blue and then out the end of the tail just only solely blue. So I'm just dotting pink around. Now I have to say the paints I'm using are um, Crafts for All acrylic paint. Sorry about that. I have children and there's only certain times of the day when I can do this so you get to hear kitty noises as well. So I have used exterior paint exterior paint from a black from um the outside of my house from years and years ago that's been sitting in a rusty can out in the shed so i've used exterior paint for the black which isn't normal most people just buy nice matte black or use acrylic for their painting and what i'm dotting on is actually a mixture of acrylic paint and emulsion, white emulsion paint from when I painted the ceiling of my house. Now, there are some drawbacks to doing this type of paint mixture because the acrylic paint is like painting plastic onto your stone. It's waterproof, nothing will take it off. However, when you mix it with emulsion, after it dries, if you get it wet, like really wet, it will sort of start to kind of um, bleed out of its lines and fade a little bit. So you really shouldn't do what I've done. But I'm learning and I'm beginning and I have a lot of paint in my shed that I want to use up. So painting stones sounded like a good idea of a way to use them up for me. And because I'll be sealing these, and you have to be careful with sealing as well because it smears them if you take forever and go back and forth with your brush a lot. Um, I'm sealing these so water shouldn't be an issue in the end, finally, when it's finished. All right, that's my long-winded explanation of what I'm doing. Back to the painting.
So the bird is almost done. We'll go in later and do a bit more. But now I'm doing my leaves two colors. I'm going in with dark green along one side of the leaf on all of the leaves, and then I'll come back with a light green for the other side. As I was um, making this bird, I found I had to keep going back with blue. And actually, even when I've finished videoing, you'll find that I, from the picture in the beginning of the video, I actually went back again with more blue and more color. And I put a little bit of a darker color on top of some of those pink dots to give it a little bit more definition because it just wasn't filling out the way I wanted it to be. Right, now we're gonna go in and kind of fill in this black space and give it kind of um, a vintage polka dot look. And I'm using pink paint and white paint. So for these bigger dots, I'm using the back end of the skewer that I was using. You could use the end of a pencil, like the eraser end of a pencil or anything else that you have that's nice and flat and round. So I'm just going around here and there and dotting it, and then I'll do the same with white. edges and I'm going to kind of um, frame this whole thing with pretty green leaves. So the same as our other leaves, I'm just going around with a swipe of green and sorry guys I went out of the camera. I keep forgetting that I'm doing this for a camera and I just think I'm painting for myself so it keeps going out. So I'm swiping green all along the sides and then I'll let that dry a little bit and then I'll come alongside and also do a swipe of dark green so it looks like the same leaves that were on in the bird picture. For the rest of the film, my my camera went small. I'm still figuring out um, the settings and formatting and stuff, so I ended up ruining this and made it small, and I can't go back and fix it. So I am going around what I did with a paint pen now with a brush, and I found out in the end this paint that I'm using was tempera paint. I think that's how you spell it, say it, or poster paint. 
and it's actually the worst paint you could possibly ever use for a stone because just one drop of water just makes the whole thing smear. So it looks nice now, but if you get it wet, it will destroy your whole um, painting. So not the best thing to use. Probably you should, I should have gotten a proper um, metallic acrylic paint or something like that, not a poster paint. But it looks nice when it's finished. Before I ruined it, I did with this was just turn some of those little white dots into very very simple basic flowers just to give it a little bit more um, more interest make it a little bit more interesting I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry, I am still getting the hang of my camera settings and keeping the stone in the picture and everything, but I think you guys could see enough of it to figure out what what I did. If you'd like to have um, a tutorial on something specific, a specific picture or anything, let me know in the comments. If you've enjoyed this, please share it, give it a thumbs up, and Paint a rock. I would love to see your guys' creations. I will put a link in the description where you can upload your own creations and we can all ooh and awe ah over them together. Happy stone painting and I am Stacy from Truly Majestic. <laughs>